How do you guys? Right. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you a little bit of weathering on this uh, helicopter, the old uh, uh, Sea Dragon. So, and this is using uh, Tamiya Set A on the weathering, uh, Tamiya Master weathering. So you can use sand and light sand. Um, we might use a bit of mud, but I'll just go with sand and light sand. It just creates a little bit of um, dust. Um, we've got some, uh, where is it? Here it is. Some paint grey. This has been rubbed out on a bit of tissue, but we've got some of that on a cotton bud. Or a, um, oh, Q-tip. Yeah, that's it. That's what the Americans call it, a Q-tip. I don't know why, because a Q to me is something you play snooker or pull with, but there we go. Perhaps they play it with cotton buds. <clears throat> uh, and also, um, we've got a brain paintbrush to feather it out a bit. And we've got another one of these cotton bud things to um, just, uh, well, you'll see as we go. So, without further ado, um, what I do is I get the dark sand on one side of one of these and the light sand on the other side. And then what we do is... Uh, blow it off so just kind of want to create a few few streaks so we won't, won't go overboard with it so you just put this this on and oh, i don't you can't see what i'm doing can you so we put put this on like this and uh like that so there, there you go so you got them they turn it over and then obviously where the stuff's dried on you know you can just create some lighter streaks yeah uh, some creaking coming off me stand here i don't know what's going on what is it going to fall i don't know so uh, right yeah so that's that and then we can add a few bits of black streaking in there like down where the, the cracks are And again over there and then what we do is we, we brush it all off like that and then you can get a bit of tissue and then just just smooth over the top and down and then kind of that's that's the look so I think if you didn't like it you can always just weaken it up brush it off go over some of the points where it's just a little bit too much because I don't I don't really know how these things weather on but I presume they um, being at sea I don't know about sand but being at sea they'd have some like you know sort of thing but you can see I've already uh, had a go at it on the uh, the front end here and got that kind of effect with the same same sort of thing um, then the other thing you can do as well is, is you can draw the lines in with um, black pencil if you wanted to make them stand out so that's just that's nothing special that's just an ordinary ordinary kids colouring pencil there's nothing um, nothing unusual about that this thing's going to fall over I think so I better burn him back up right hang on so yeah anyway um, so that, that's kind of it and then obviously on top uh, for this we just pat it yeah keep turning and patting it there is supposed to be some um, uh, walkway markings on here but um the colour they depict in the kit is like a grey colour and all I keep seeing on the, the the internet is stuff that looks black. So I'm um, on two minds as to whether what to do really and then just go over it with this. Now I'll take most of the, the dust up with that. And then over we go, one foul swoop and wipe it all off. <clears throat> bit of... Um, a bit of crud in the side there, but and uh, 
Yeah, there you go. And that's it there. Right, hang on, I just got to... So that's it. Um, don't quite know. Uh, if you wanted to get rid of something like that a bit, you could use a toothbrush. But um, better than that, just get some turps on a, on a cotton bud. Um, or, this is where we can use a bit of mud, a bit darker, is... Uh, is yeah one of the steps going down and uh there there we are there oh dear someone's upset her. what's up now i keep getting interrupted do what what do free toys don't worry about it look you've all gone home now they've gone home all right don't worry just go in your room go in go in the room and play but Oh, do you know what? <laughs> That's a laugh. Oh, Christ. It's the stupidest of stupidest things. Ah. Oh, he keeps throwing me toys. Where have I heard that one before? I suppose it's pretty much some of you lot have as well, if you've got kids. He threw me toys, she threw me toys. How many more times do you want to throw your toys? Never mind. But the big boys, like us... We do throw our toys out of the pram every now and then. This was one that <laughs> nearly went in there, nearly went in the bin this morning. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Um, oh, mate. This thing was like this. And how the hell it happened, I don't know. But it, it came off. It's now, if I show you, missing the tail. The tail just basically snapped off, snapped that off, this snapped off, the glass canopy come off, that broke, bloody great hole there, so it's got a big split right the way around there now, which looks bloody ugly. The mirrors both went flying, and the nose landing gear came pinging off, and I just thought to myself, oh boy, this poxy thing... <sighs> but we carry on. <laughs> Pick yourself up, dust yourself down, and carry on. And that's exactly what I've done. But boy, oh boy, it is a, it is a, it is well. It, it's the only thing I know at the moment. Don't get me wrong. This is not a shit kit. It's actually quite a nice kit. But it's just my one. Me, this poxy little bench. I wish I had more room. I really do. I mean, I could, I could clear it out in here till there's nothing in here. But the bench will still be the same size. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should clear it out. I mean, I've got, we've all got to up and root and move out as soon as it is anyway. Still don't know where we're going, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it, <sighs> don't know. Anyway, it's going off the subject of this. So, <clears throat> so that's using the Tamiya Weathering Master Station for doing a bit of that round there and some rain and stuff. So the other thing as well I did was obviously was the exhaust um, plume. Now, I've noticed on pretty much most of them, it's this area here that's dirty because of that exhaust there these ones here um because it's blown out over here th this this area here gets a bit a, a little tiny bit groy but it doesn't seem to be much but they're not as filthy as the sea kings the sea kings seem to be jet black all over the bloody place so what i did was i mixed a bit of tamiya clear smoke with a bit of tamiya clear orange a couple of tiny little drops and then thinned it down with um leveling thinners and then just run it through the airbrush, but I sprayed it from this angle, so it goes pshht down, and then all I did was fan it like that, so that it that the fan spread it from there to there, yeah, and then just that was it, it, just feathered out. So it was only really the main corner section of this fuselage, and the rest of it was just you know smeared down. You see a little bit down here and a bit there, sort of thing. But um, 
but that was that. And then I, I thought myself, oh, that's quite a nice colour. So, so I actually sprayed the ends of the cans, the burn cans, um, with it as well, because it gives a nice sort of, you know, burnty, weathered look to them. Um, and then uh, the other thing as well was these mirrors. I've got uh, an actual... Now, hopefully I've got this right. The one that's here is chrome pen. And that one there is metal tape. I was trying them out and I put them in and that one got stuck in, so I'm not going to pull him out. I've had enough accidents with it this morning, so... Oh, and the other thing was, was I, I broke all this. This framing all broke. And I, I couldn't believe that either. Oh, you are having a laugh. But um, as it is, I've managed to, managed to fix it all. So I've just got to do the, um, like I say, little bits of the weathering here and there and, um, and see where we end up with it. Um, obviously, I've got to stick the towel back on. But <clears throat> the other thing as well is, is, is regards to sticking the towel back, I'll put the bar across there. So that, that um, it was in there originally. It broke off. I've still got it. I was going to refix it. But I thought best to put the transfer on first before refixing it. So, um, yeah. And then I've just got to put a little light on the top here. There's a little light goes up there. And then, um, and then the other thing, these grills as well, so I was going to show you. Right, and let's push him up there. Now, the other thing, with these grills, um, what I did was I got um, some of this. And basically, this is quite thin anyway. I think I thinned it down. And I basically put it in all the grills. Yeah, then left it to dry. And then what I do is I scrub it off. And then when I scrub it off, it comes out like that. So it kind of gives you the kind of the blacky look behind the the, uh, the grill without put, using the... Not that I've got the metal edge set for this. So I'll show you how I get it off. And what I get it off with is this ultimate brush cleaner. So we put a bit on the old uh, earbud, cotton bud, snooker cue tip, whatever you want to bloody call it. So there's a bit on there, and then what we do is we just go over these things. So if I just go over there and over there and over there and over there and over there, like that. So that makes more work. And as you can see, it's starting to lift off. So as we go, we don't don't you don't want to. The reason for using the Q-tip is because it will run flush over the surface of the the grills rather than down in the grills. So um, yeah, there we go. And then what happens then is. I'm going to stop fanning about. Is um, there you go. You get your your look that you want. I mean, that'll all dry matte anyway. But um, but there it is. I mean, it's without overcooking it and doing it, you know, too mad. Um, but um, yeah, that was just one of the ways I found. You know, after doing that kind of thing and. If, for instance, you left it on there too long and you, it wasn't coming off using that thinners, or, well, it's airbrush cleaner, and it? <clears throat> it wasn't coming off using this, then <laughs> I'll revert back to it. But good old isopropyl alcohol, that'll get it off, definitely. But don't go too mad with that stuff because you might find you might start taking off the bloody paint. So, um, yeah, just uh, this will pretty much get it off. Just don't let it dry for days and days. You know, just, um, like I say, this has been dried now for, I don't know, a couple of hours. So, yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy with it anyway, sort of matters. So, um, yeah, so there's that. There's the weathering stations, one of the weathering stations used. I mean, I've got pretty much most of the weathering stations, C and B, D, and then um, there's some others as well, uh, E, G and H, F. I've never seen F. Don't even know what colours are on F, to be honest with you. But um, but yeah, but it was A that we were using, and that was just to do those little streaking effects, which are on the other side. 
other side show them for Christ's sake. There you go, so it's on the other side. So you just got like a, your streaking going there and your streaking down the front. I mean, the other, the other thing as well, which I found pretty good with these, it is, yeah, that one's soot. Um, it's kind of a black, blackish colour. And if I do this here, I'm not sure whether these bloody things. I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like wax powder. They call it makeup, but and then you can you can kind of dirty up an area like that. I don't know whether you can see. I can see it going on. What have you? And then it um, it's almost like the. Uh, It's wax, this stuff. Not 100%, but I think it's wax. So anyway, that's that's what it does. This light's a bit, a little bit too bright, I think. <clears throat> it's kind of bleaching it out. But um, yeah, you get the kind of... Um, the sooty look you get from the exhaust. So the dirty skin look. Um, th this here was done using uh, one of these. This particular one. A Wonder Wing eye, Rimmel eye pencil. Or wherever, I don't know what those things are, but they, that's the nib there. And uh, yeah, I tend to just go like this. So, so I, I'll do it on there. Yeah. And then get my, come on, my uh, cotton bud. And then go like this. And that's it. So there you go. That's another tip. Another couple of tips. So I'll leave you there. And I'll say that's um, TTFN. That's ta for now. See you soon. ta guys. Bye.